know that. We know that culture, we know that culture influences our gender development. How so? Huh? What's the question? How does culture influence our gender development? Because they have, oh, never mind, let's move on. Uh, uh, if you're in a matriarchal or matriarchal society. There you go. <laughs> Woo, that's hot. Carol? What's the DNA? Say that again, Eric. Patriarchal and mm -hmm. patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk a little bit more about that because it's actually um, Bobby. Bobby, you see, I'm trying to ask a little bit. Eric, you I know, it's okay now. It's a hierarchy. <laughs> we talked, were you here the other day? Were you here the other day? And we talked about collectivism and individualism. It relates to that. Can you explain what you were talking about? The matriarchal and patriarchal societies? Yes, and you're going to have to speak loud because you're here to you. Okay, uh, patriarchal societies is where there's a, more of an influence towards uh, a men-driven society where the males will have control, a little bit more control over the females and they will play different gender roles, like um, the men are supposed to make more money or are supposed to have better jobs or they can do this and that and the women have limited choice and then matriarchal societies are where those roles are switched, where the women have the, the control and they're the ones that make the deciding factors. They're the ones that uh, are in charge of being the breadwinners, and you know, then the fathers are the are have the, the role of taking care of children, or, or you, you know what I mean, different mm -hmm. just different gender roles. Kadira, hold that thought. David, remind us about collectivism in a Latino Hispanic okay. community. So the guy is the one that works. Like it's it's basically. Like the guy's supposed to bring the food to the table and then the guy's supposed to take care of the kids, um, educate them. Not educate them, but like give them affection, uh, cook, clean the house, all that. You gotta cook and what clean. Is, you know, like, wash everything. <laughs> there are Asians here, they're just not here. I think I saw your rock star girlfriend. Rocker? Rocker chick? She's hot. I love twins. Okay, so the big the big key here um, is how we develop gender. And I want to take a couple of minutes to actually um, review some of the thoughts of gender identity and development. What do I mean when I say androgynous? Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Why? <laughs> Lamar, what do I mean when I say that? Oh, right, here we go. Uh-uh, that's not acceptable. Ooh. Think about it. The Tyra, the Rodinus, when they hear some folks are not talking. I'll go to the floor. Think about it. Kristen, what do I mean by Rodinus? Think about the context here. You got masculine, uh, feminine, orange Rodinus. What does that mean? Lamar, you're not out the woods. There we go. Lamar, you don't have a fight today, do you? <laughs> Think about it for a moment. Think about it. Term developed from the Greek word that refers either to the concept of The mixing of genders. The males and males. They have the masculine mixing. and feminine attributes. Third universe. I'm not picking on you, Possibly. but I want you to talk a little bit more, okay? I want you to wake up. Little bunch. Oh, why did that sound? Um, does it sound good to you guys? Sure. Yeah. Feminine and masculine attributes. Thank you, Kristen. Very good. So let's move forward here. Well, not everybody is all masculine. And I want to show these Everybody's videos. Everybody's all male. Ooh, I mean, videos. Uh -oh. Feminine. Oh, do you think you're all feminine? feminine? You're a girl. Yeah. No problem. We can talk together. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, all feminine. You can do this. I, well, I'm definitely not all masculine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is going to suck. We'll take a question. What the hell is Metro? Oh, man. Metro. Oh. Metro. Please don't hold that for this year. That would be. Yeah. Would that be an example of Metro male when they're like having no. very feminine attributes? 
pulls yeah, it up and we'll laugh. It's going to be more of a temporary definition of being Everybody, be concerned. Well, you listen, in a cockpit development, too, you can be raised in a drive home where male and female roles are blurred. I was raised in a drop-dead home. My father was my mother, my mother. Couldn't most people be considered con androgynous? Because not everybody is like all feminine. Not everybody is like all male. They're attributes that, you know. Yeah, um, it depends exactly. on your household. I mean, of course, they're going to be the problem here. Because you're not going to be male Yeah, male. I can I'll just get a few Dude, Todd is ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so mean. Here we go. How are you doing? Is it being slow? Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> what is it? Try deleting everything before WWW. Oh, yeah, that'll, that, that'll, <laughs> that might help you. <laughs> yes. There we go. Oh, she's a dork. Be a boy and now I'm a girl. Oh. I would say that I have a girl brain and a boy body, and I think like a girl, but I, but I just have a boy body, and it's different than you. Is it okay to be different? Yes, you like it? Mm -hmm. Then why? It's okay to be different. It's okay to be different because it just matters who you are. Doesn't matter if you're different than anybody else. It just matters if you're having a good time. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow, she was, was adorable. Was adorable. Was adorable. Was adorable. Pretty good. She was, she was, she was, she was adorable. adorable. Person that believe they're transgender at a young age. Now let's go into maybe a little bit of an explanation. I think she's maybe a little unfair. But what if she decides she wants to play basketball and she grows to six two and can dunk? That's unfair. That's not unfair. She got all the boy. <laughs> well, then they go. Well, then they only go hormone <laughs> therapy if they actually have question. that. Mm. Maybe it's the time to go into um, an explanation. Let's see if we have time for this one. Dang it. We don't have enough time to talk about this. TLC. I think we all have concerns when we see a little boy who dresses up like a girl. We have fears, and dads have a lot of fears. It's important to recognize that children, as part of their normal development, figure out if they're a boy or a girl and what that means. It usually develops around six or Boy. seven years old, but they have a firm understanding of where they stand in the world. Am I a boy? Am I a girl? But for then, it's okay for boys to play with dolls, try on a dress, girls to play with action figures, or kick around a soccer ball. It's not that much worth worrying about. Are they going to have a problem when they're still very small? We seem to be going to accept little girls kicking soccer balls, wearing blue jeans, trying out action figures, but we get very concerned when we see a boy in a dress or a boy playing with dolls. I think it's important to recognize that until we're six or seven years old, we haven't yet firmly established what it means to be a boy or to be a girl. It's completely acceptable and to be expected sometimes to see a little boy try on a dress or on high heels play with sister's doll. He's learning about his environment. He's learning about life. And in that context, I don't think it's worth staying up at night worrying about whether or not your son's going to be gay. Okay. So you hear her perspective. Let's hear what someone a little bit more controversial has to say about it. I'm going to skip the age of one and go to the Can we stay over class? <laughs> 